Yum, yum! Hey everyone, Steve White here with a quick Blender tip. Let's say you're working in Blender and you're working on something like this little rocket here, and you want to put a uh, circular array of objects down here at the bottom. Say you're working on some fins or maybe pieces of an engine that you want to array in a circle around the bottom of that rocket. Well, if you notice that the rocket is already sort of you know rotated in a random way in Blender, and if we look at our rotation values, you see that the rotation uh, values have all been zeroed out. So the rotations have essentially been applied in Blender. So matching the rotation of another object up to that would be difficult. Uh, so one way to do this is let's go ahead and create an array. So first let's just create a cube and then I'm gonna go into edit mode and then just move this out to the side here a bit and then scale that down. And the reason I do it in edit mode is to leave the origin at the world origin point also um, so I can scale it without you know, having to apply my scale and everything. So let's go back into object mode. I'm going to go ahead and create an empty. And so now we have an empty there at the world origin. I'm going to go ahead and select the cube, go into my modifiers, add an array, and then I'm going to change relative offset to object offset. And then I'll pick the uh, empty as my object offset. And then now all I need to do is just set a number in my array. So we'll do eight and then select my empty and then rotate that. And now we have our circular array. Now, how do we get that to the bottom of the rocket? Well, it's easy. We just need to select the cubes, shift select the empty, and then do control P and parent it to the object and keep the transform. So now if we move the empty, you can see all of the cubes are parented to that. So now I just need to come up into my snap panel. I'm going to change snap to face and then align rotation to target. So now all I need to do is just start moving that up with the G key and then press control to snap that to the bottom of the rocket. Okay, so now it's on the bottom of the rocket where we want it, but it needs to be centered um, on the bottom. So let's select the rocket. Let's go into edit mode, select that bottom poly, and then do shift S, cursor to select it, which will place it in the center of that polygon. And then go back to object mode, select the empty, and then do shift S, selection to cursor. And now it's completely centered on the bottom of that rocket. Now what we can do is just, um, Select the empty and then scale it down to bring those objects around the uh, base of the rocket. And now if you want to uh, scale those objects up, you can just go into edit mode and then just scale those up. And now you have your array on the bottom of your rocket. Yum, yum.